shotgun. Llama. Hello everybody, thank you for clicking. Welcome to Shotgun Llama. I have a tutorial for you all today, and we're going to be doing that today, uh, because that's the thing I have for today, and it's a tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how you can play Pokemon games from Generation 1 up through Generation 5 on your computer. So the first thing you're going to need is an emulator. Now uh, there are really, I think, uh, three or two emulators that you're really going to want to use. The first is Visual Boy Advance, right here. Use that one for Generations 1 through 3 games. And then you have No Cash GBA or Desmume. I'll talk about some of the differences I've noticed with those two in a minute. And you use those for Generations 4 and 5 games, the ones that are on the Nintendo DS. Visual Boy Advance can play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, etc. No Cash GBA plays Nintendo DS and can also play Game Boy Advance. And Desmume, I believe, just plays Nintendo DS. So you may be wondering, well, what's the difference between No Cash GBA and Desmume? Aside from that, Desmume, I don't think it can play uh, Game Boy Advance games. Well, the difference I've noticed are uh, No Cash GBA is just sort of lighter and runs generally more quickly on less powerful machines, but is also more glitchy and has less functions than Desmume. In Desmume, you can import, export, backup, saves, and you can uh, even search for cheats, rotate the screen, and do all that. There, it's also less glitchy than No Cash GBA, and in general, it is uh, it's like a better thing, but it runs more slowly, especially on less powerful machines. So, just decide which one you want. So, for Generations 1 through 3 games, you want to have to find a ROM. I have some in here under Pokemon Clean. I have a Ruby, Emerald, Leaf Green, uh, Yellow, Gold, all that. All three generations there, so you just open up Visual Boy Advance like that. Open or Open Game Boy, doesn't matter. Only do Open Game Boy if you want Game Boy or Game Boy Color Game. If you want, you can use Open to get all of them. However, and just click whatever you want. Let's say Pokemon Ruby, because the Game Boy Advance sound isn't so obnoxious when it's too loud. And you see that? Pokemon Ruby starts playing. Do basically the same thing with No Cash GBA, just choose your game. I'm going to go with uh, Platinum. And as you can see, there's Pokemon Platinum. Starts playing, has both screens here. You can go to uh, Options, Control Setup to change the controls. Basically the same thing for Visual Boy Advance. You just go to uh, Options, Joypad, Configure, 1. And for Desmume, I'll load up Desmume right here. Start up Desmume. Open ROM. I think I already showed you Desmume for something else before, but Pokemon Platinum. Start that up. And it's the exact same thing for Generation 5 games, by the way. Generation 4, Generation 5 games, exact same to emulate, in case you're wondering. And as you can see, it starts playing. Now what I was talking about with uh, rotating screens, I've already showed you how to use cheats in an earlier video. But you go to View, Rotation, and you can rotate it. It doesn't really do a whole lot for Pokemon, but for other games, which I've done tutorials on in the past, it's like practically necessary, because they run sideways. You can find these emulators just by looking them up. Don't worry, I'll link to them in the description so you don't have to. And you can find ROMs also by looking them up. I won't link directly to them, but I'll link to a couple websites where you can find them. I'm thinking in particular MU Paradise and Cool ROMs, both of which you can find pretty easily. Just type in the search bar the name of whatever game you're looking for. Also, something you should notice is if I go into here, you'll see that there are all of these like tags after some of them. So here, for example, Pokemon Emerald U Trash Man. Uh, trash Man is just the guy who got the dump of the game. That's usually what you see with something like that. U means that it's the United States version, or the English release. You'll also see other, in some games you'll see tags like um, USA, that's the same as U, USA, pretty obvious. Uh, Europe, <laughs> you should be able to figure out what Europe means. If you see E or EU, that most likely also means that it's a European release. If you say NA, that means that it's a North American release, which is most likely the same as the United States release. If you see J, it's the, or something like that, it's a Japanese release, and basically you'll just see things representing the country. Sometimes you'll see things like a B, or B and a number, that means that it's a bad dump, and you probably don't want to use those. Uh, just, you should know that, so watch out for those. Well, thanks for watching, and next time I'll be showing you something special. I'll be showing you how you can export Pokemon from save files from emulators on your computer and put them into the actual games in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, like on an actual 3DS. That's pretty cool, I hope you think, and we'll be doing that in the next video. Bye!